So it's about 6.30 in the morning and I needed an intro to a video because this is going to take some explaining. So basically I'm sitting in my garage having a cup of coffee trying to clear my mind and figure out how to, how to frame this up for you because it's kind of a big deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, 49 pounds because I know I sure as hell did. I will never, ever experience anything like that ever again. So... Not to add to the total crazy insanity of it, but there were a bunch of fish that didn't make the cut. And when I say didn't make the cut, I mean like they, they didn't make the video. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> and not just like little guys, not just little little stragglers. I'm talking like like an eight pounder, another seven pounder, a couple sixes, like some chunks, dude. So basically, I think the day was absolutely insane, and actually my buddy Fido Beto, in his edit, I think he said like unbelievable 100 pound day, so like literally we caught like 100 pounds, not in five fish, but in like all the massive giant jokers that we caught. So basically, I wanted to show you everything we caught and why it was the stupidest, craziest experience ever. And uh, there's some giants, dude, and giants need to make YouTube. They need to make the video. They need to make the cut. They just, they didn't make the A-roll cut. They're going to make the B-roll cut, the, the second run video. More giants on the most epic, insane, best freaking bag on YouTube ever. If you haven't watched the video, go back and watch. It's 49 pounds, 3 ounces, 5 fish, public lake. Need I say more? <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to finish my coffee and edit this vid, but check this out. These are the, uh, the not make the cut fish. Still freaking giants. That added up to probably about 100 pounds or so for one day of fishing. Actually, not even a full day. We only fished till like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. <laughs> Enjoy. Good one? Okay, watch your drag, man, if you only got 12 pound test, because they're gonna make you make it run for your money. Boom, 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 like dog boom. fish ate it right at the boat, like where the bait was coming up and we were like, oh, dang, yeah. Woo. And it's not, I don't know how big it is, maybe like seven. It is pretty soft. It's a big old mouth. Yeah, when you get these big fish on, like he's just lying on the bottom, you let him lay on the bottom. As long as you know there's nothing down there, you let him lay on the bottom and do their thing. And just keep them away from the motor, the motor. Inhibit you landing the fish and having a good old fashioned time. Landed quite a few big ones. You gotta be smooth with the crankbait because stops and starts, jerkiness, that's what pops trouble is out and that's what leads to a bad day. A possible uh oh someday. Yeah. Look at that. Dude, she freaking chomped it too. I think it's a. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. See, that's another stud. Oh. Six 
614, almost yeah. seven, dude. 614, almost seven. All right, guys, we're gonna get her back real quick because you don't want to stretch her out too much. All right, we're on our own, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. We both got freaking. Oh, we still on there, sweet. Thank God. All right, well, um, I think mine might go first, so I'm gonna grab the net here, Chief. But if you come up, you just let me know. This is insanity. <laughs> Oh my God, Dave's hooked up. I'm hooked up. We look. We called it. We bet. Even think about moving this thing. No, and don't. I'm just gonna let it swim. Nice and easy. Just try to keep him down if he does get crazy like that. Though that's the only thing. Oh my God, we're on mega bag fish right now, dude. Absolute, utter mega bag. I'm gonna try to get this joker in so we can get to work here. But I'm having a, I'm having some issues. <laughs> I think I might have hooked the captain in the There's no catfish, buddy. Actually, there's catfish, but not like that kind of catfish. Gosh, Mike. All right, we got one. Put that in the well. Yep. All right, Dave, he's freaking hooked up. We're doubled up on giants. I'm gonna turn the boat towards him and have the net ready. We're fingers crossed for a personal best, but we gotta land, I mean, hey, get, get, get. I haven't seen it at all, so I don't know if it's big. I just know I couldn't move it at all. Yeah! <laughs> oh, look at that one. <laughs> we got a camouflage here. Yeah. On the on the dead bluegill pattern. What? what? Dead bluegill pattern. Oh I'm gonna God. get this hook out for you real quick and then hand her over to you, okay? Dude, we're on freaking mega bag fish. We have four fish. All of them are over six pounds, almost seven. Grab that joker. Dave was holding out on me. I think this one's bigger than mine. So what happened, man? I just caught a giant. <laughs> That's all I can say. We were gonna know who's who. Uh, yours is bigger. I don't know. Yours is bigger. Guys, we have four giants, and me and Dave just doubled up. He caught one, I hooked one right after he hooked his, and they dogged, and once again, we're 100 yards off where we need to be. We're about to weigh these jokers. His is bigger, but dude, we're, we're at, what are, we, what are we at with two fish? 16. 16. We're at so around 16 more. pounds. I mean, with, with the three fish, including the giant he caught first, which was like four pounds, we're at like 20 with three fish. But we got two more to weigh in. Let's break it's sitting right here. All right, this is Dave. Going for the win. Right, come on up with it. Ball. Uh huh. Eight, Eight six. six. Eight six. Look at that joke. Eight six, dude. Dude, look at that. It's one of the top three biggest bass I've ever caught. Well, finally, we're getting to that. Oh, God, look how broad she is. Gentlemen, this is not shiner fishing. This is the real deal. Find them and catch them. That's in my top three, seriously. Oh, my God, what a stud, dude. What a freaking stud. And she worked you, dude. Oh, she, she would have worked you some more. Okay, we're not done yet. We got a second one. Hold, hold the press. She's mad, too. I smell a dirty 30 coming. No, I think this is the worst day we've ever well, had. I mean, yeah, sorry. This is so the running joke is this is the worst day. We're not gonna screw with our karma. Alright, here's see. Mine's definitely smaller. You got me here, but, but smaller still. but you got a 7 Eleven. 7 7 Eleven. We're gonna have to do some math later, dude. 
Oh my god. It's and like they're a, so stud like. 7 Eleven, isn't that like an ice cube lyric? Is... <laughs> Alright, let's get her back and get back in. I think we're gonna have to get out the big swim baits, Chief. Even though I kind of want to crank some more. Oh, she's bleeding a little bit. Oh, it's a piece. Dude, what, what do you say? I don't want to jinx it. I can't say anything. But we catch one more. I want to. I want to go have lunch, maybe. No, 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 <laughs> no, not a lot. You just not throw it in the throw it in the thing. Just leave it on. It'll auto shut. Not or you a can do. Chance. All right, guys. That's that's four fish. We gotta go catch a fifth. We're gonna need calculators. We're gonna need calculators. We need a fifth fish, and. We're <laughs> I'm just gonna say this is the worst fishing day of my life. Worst fishing day. Oh my god. Just gonna say it. I'm gonna lose it, dude. Alright guys, hold on for a second. Stop. Rewind. Okay. D Dave the scientist just did this math. What what's your math, dude? Let's run through it again. We have a 914, which we're gonna call we're, we're just gonna call it a people are gonna get pissed, but just go with us and you'll understand the math. Because all the only number we're worried about right now is the number 30. So it, well 402, but hold on. So what first one is 914. We're gonna say 10. We're gonna say 10. 10 plus, I caught a 614. Once again, we're, we're gonna, gonna say, say seven. seven. So we're just for simple 17. math, 17 pounds. Then I caught another 711. So we're gonna call that seven and a half. So that puts us at uh, 24, 24 and a half. half. And then you just caught an eight, seven or an eight, eight. So that'll be. That's It'd be 33, 33. 30, 33, because it'd be 32 and a half plus 33 the half. pounds and four fish. 33 pounds, four fish. Now, okay, for all the haters, dude, troll away on this. I could care less. But in theory, we're at an estimated 33 pounds. All we need is one seven pounder, seven plus, to kind of break up and pick up the scraps on the other ones to break 40. Yeah. 40. Which would be the second time I broke 40 out here. Public Lake. Should we get back to the stupidity? Yeah. Oh my god! Dude, this is bigger than the last. Yeah. I gotta stop yelling. Yeah, okay, you do. <laughs> you can get it when it, if it jumps now. It's like right here. Okay, yeah, it's not, you're not gonna have that happen. Dave's got a freaking stud monster on, and he's screaming again. I gotta stop doing that. Dude, you need to st Oh my god, they're all under us. We are on the mega, mega, mega bag. You need to land this, dude. I hope you got enough line on there for this joker. He's, he's getting friggin' run, boy. I'm take 300 yards up. I'm like, it doesn't feel very big, but I'm not gonna say anything. A freaking whale jumps out. On the dead mustard color. <laughs> oh. oh god, it's right there. Oh, ooh, ooh. watch it, bog, bog. I'm coming back this way. I think it's at least seven, dude. I think it'll put us damn close to freaking forty. There's pars right behind if you turn to your left. Oh my god, seriously got the dude. I'm losing it right now. Oh, she wasn't coming off. Well, she was close. Oh, you gotta get under there. There you go. Dude. Not as, I don't think it's as big as the last one, but I sure I think that's a seven, though, dude. Oh, Put her on the scale just for... Dude, look at the side of her stomach. She's got a big old brim. If you look at the other side, there's like a, a thing sticking out, dude. Dude, feel her tummy, though. Seriously, on this side. You feel it? There's a brim sticking out or something. Like, it... Look at that side. There's like a flat fish in there, dude. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> 12 pounder when it jumps. Guys, literally two casts later. This is called on our way to 40. So let's go on. Oh my god, my heart is racing. I can't even deal with this, dude. This is gonna be like a six, I think. Well, we'll find out. They're very deceptive. Right, just yeah. Hold her. Stop, bog. Yeah, she's bigger than this. Gonna beep or what? Still trying. Seven, we'll call it seven six. We'll call that seven six. Seven six, guys. Yeah, because we gotta get her back. Dude, we're damn close to 40. We need to call a six pounder. Oh my god. Oh 
This is the worst day. Worst day ever. Worst day ever. Lost a shoe. <laughs> okay, we get we gotta get back over. Fish on on the giant bull shed, gentlemen. I don't know how well she's hooked. That's the one issue I had with, I don't know how big she is either. Oh, she's got one hook. Yeah, gonna need a nap. We're gonna have to get her kind of quick too, cause I don't think she's gonna stay in for long. On the freaking bullshit, baby. On the bullshit. All right, you got front chain. Guys, that's like a freaking five and change on the on the nine inch bullshit. I'm jacked up. It's another like six pounder, but we, this ain't gonna help us. That's where we're at right now. This is how dumb it is. But dude, on the freaking, on the nine inch bullshit. This is just dumb. All right, we're gonna get her back in real quick and we're gonna try to catch a massive one. So real quick, because it, I really think rigging is important on this thing. Um, it's a massive bait, man. And you gotta be ready for a massive bite, but you also have to be ready to catch a five pounder. So here's the deal. Now, I throw it on 20 pound fluorocarbon. Um, put quite a bit of line on it so I can long line it. I also do change the hooks. I believe these are these are one knot um, triple grips, super sturdy. These are actually the hooks that I use on my spoons because you don't get much of a chance to land fish on the spoons. So I figured it's good for these. I was thinking of maybe even going bigger because I'd like those hooks to cover more of a chunk of the bait. But for now, this seems to be working. So always make sure you're tying directly to the line tie rod that I'm throwing. This is important and this is where Mike Buka, the guy that makes these, gave me a different recommendation. So note, I like a softer, more moderate rod, like when I'm throwing swim baits. So this is my preference. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's the way rods are, dude. Some people like them a lot stiffer. Some people like them softer. We're in open water and I just want that fish to go wherever it wants to go, as long as it stays down. I use a Dobbins Fury. This is the 795 SB or swim bait. Now, like I said, Mike recommends going to the heavier swim bait rod in the Fury series. I like this, and let me show you why I like this. It's because of this tip. Dude, it's a five ounce bait. I can wing it really good, but like when you get those fish hooked and they only have that one back treble or something like that, it gives you a lot of flexibility to fight that fish. Cause I almost look at this as like magnum crankbaiting, like super duper magnum crankbaiting. So that's kind of my setup. Uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon and then make sure you're using um, a 6 two, one, or like a, a medium to slow speed reel. Some guys like the slow. I like them a little bit faster that 6 two, one, because I can slow down and just rear back and give them the hammer. Don't even know what to freaking say because there is nothing to say. Yep. Another good one. Got another freaking giant on. He's pulling the boat. It sucks because I got I got the cast. She ate it too. Boy. Now she's mad. She's freaking pissed. We're all pissed with joy on the worst day of fish. And then look at this right below us. Guys, I got a freaking seven plus on. That's what's swimming, but every fish in the lake. <laughs> There's your girl. Guys, look at that chunker wonker. Chunker wonker. 
All right, I'm gonna switch spots. You, if you cast straight ahead, you're good. Guys, this is unbelievable. Like, I, I've never had an experience like this in my entire life. I don't think she's gonna help us. So. Guys, I mean, any day you catch one of these is awesome. Bog, no, bog. Bog, you need to get, get. We are gonna need more batteries at this rate. 6.15. Yeah, it'll give us an ounce, I think. 6.15, guys. Let's get her back in. What a freaking... Oh. Going back, honey. She got worked. See you later. Well, this is pure, utter insanity. This is 